Hello darlings, for today's video I'll be creating a jewel toned look. To start, I'm filling in my brows with the Sigma Beauty Brow Pomade in the shade Dark. I'm using the Sigma E75 brush to create small hair-like strokes throughout the brow. I'm being very light-handed when working towards the front of the brow for a softer effect. Next, I'm creating a more structured shape to the brow by cleaning up the edges. I'm using concealer for the top edge and P. Louise base for the bottom edge. Cleaning up the lower edge really helps to cover up any straggling hairs. It also makes my eyes appear larger and gives me more lid space to work with. After I'm happy with the brow shape, I'm tapping the P. Louise base onto the eyelid and setting the brow hair in place with the Sigma Beauty Clear Brow Gel. Now that the base has dried down on its own, I'm dipping into the Morphe James Charles eyeshadow palette. The first shade I'm picking up is this matte plum purple shade called Escape. I'm packing this into my crease so that it goes from the outer corner of the eye all the way to the inner corner. Once the purple shade is really opaque, it's time to blend it out. I'm using these two pink shades called Skip and Love That on the Morphe M562 brush to create a gradient effect so that the purple seamlessly blends into the pink. When working with color, I like to start with the darkest shade first and then follow up with a lighter shade and I find it much easier to blend this way. Next, I'm blending out the outer edge of the shadow with the Morphe JH40 brush. This is a great brush for precise blending and will help the pink fade out into the skin. Now that I'm done blending, I'm cutting the crease. I'm creating a half cut crease with the P. Louise base and the Morphe JH42 brush. Since I have hooded eyes, I'm just taking the product up a bit higher than my natural crease, so the work I do in that area won't go unnoticed. Once I'm happy with the shape, I'm adding more of the purple to my outer V and fading it down towards the lash line at a bit of an angle. I'm then adding this matte royal blue shade called Cola right next to the purple so that it's at the same angle and is more towards the center of the lid. Now with a clean M562 brush, I'm placing this matte baby pink shade called Pinkity Drinkity onto the rest of the lid space that hasn't been filled yet. Next, I'm adding some glitter. First, I'm tapping on a little bit of the NYX Glitter Primer, and then I'm pressing on some Lancome Hologram Sparkling Touch Glitter. This is a very fine iridescent glitter, however, unfortunately, it's no longer available for purchase. Next, I'm adding winged liner with the NYC liquid liner, which I'm then cleaning up using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and a flat brush. This not only helps to sharpen up the wing, but also creates a barrier so that I don't accidentally mess up the wing when I'm applying my foundation and concealer. Moving on to face makeup, I'm priming with the MAC Natural Radiance Base and then I'm applying the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation in the shade 140 in. To blend that in, I'm using the Sigma Beauty 3D HD Kabuki Brush from the 3D HD Perfect Complexion set. I definitely still prefer sponges over brushes, but I really wanted to try this brush out because of its unique shape. As you can see, the angular shape makes it very easy to get right up next to the brows. Next, I'm using the 3D HD Blender Sponge to blend out my concealer. 
What's so great about this set is that 20% of the proceeds are donated to Bright Pink, whose mission is to save lives from breast and ovarian cancer, so I definitely recommend picking up this set. After setting my under eyes with the Urban Decay Ultimate Brush Off Translucent Powder, I'm contouring with the Anastasia Powder Contour Kit and Sigma F40 Brush. I'm just mixing all three of the darker shades in the palette and sweeping them onto the hollows of my cheeks, the top of my forehead, my jawline, and along the sides of the bridge of my nose. Next, I'm highlighting with the Peaceful Shade from the Sigma Beauty Chroma Glow Palette using the F03 brush. Then, I'm applying the Aura Face Powder in Nymphaea to the apples of my cheeks with the F10 brush. If you're interested in any of the Sigma Beauty products, don't forget that you can use my discount code, the Taylor Cherie, to save 10% off your purchase. After spraying my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, I'm moving back to the eyes and applying the shade Cola to the lower lash line. I'm then highlighting the inner corner with the shade Ring Light and adding a little bit of the Lancome Glitter to my lower lash line. Now for lashes, I'm curling my natural lashes with the Ardell Lash Curler, applying some MAC False Lashes Extreme Black Mascara, and popping on the AliExpress Viso Free Lashes in the style E6 using the Duo Dark Tone Adhesive. Next, I'm applying the Sigma Longwear Eyeliner Pencil to my upper and lower waterlines, and then applying mascara to my bottom lashes. Finally, for lips, I'm mixing two of the Sigma Beauty Liquid Lipsticks. The first one is Bella Donna, an opaque Merlot shade, and the second one is Awaken, a dreamy pink rouge shade. And that completes this jewel-toned look. Let me know in the comments below if you like to wear ultra-colorful glam looks like this, and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time!